What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Vintage Cube. We will not be drafting any goddamn elves this time. Um, we will be probably taking this Deceiver Exarch. Time Twister is, is hot butts. I'm going to take Deceiver Exarch. I'm going to keep myself open for a, 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 an OP combo. Ooh, demonic tutor. Samurai. <laughs> Samurai. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my favorite thing ever, man. I'm gonna take demonic tutor. It's just too good. Fallen Shinobi, for sure. Play this guy on turn three. Tap down your thing. Fallen Shinobi on four. Yeah, that's that's the that's the world we're living in, man. Consecrated Sphinx, but I do have to pass an Is it Signet. That's fine. Maybe we're just blue black. Splashing Splinter Twin. Oh man, I should have got a drink refill. I'm gonna get a drink refill after the draft portion. Get it do 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 you would get a drink refill that is buddy don't tempt me buddy I'll do it you know I'll do it I'll fill that whole I'll fill this whole cup I'll turn this car around badge Oh, what if Time Spiral... What if Time Twister comes back and we get Narset? Let's take Narset and hope that Time Twister comes back. Speaking of Splinter Twin, do you think it will ever come back to modern? No, I do not. No, I do not. Nor do I think it should. Uh, me and actually... Me and Rob actually talked about it today on the podcast. So if you guys are are interested in our thoughts, you can hear our band of restricted thoughts uh, this Friday when that episode comes out. I think it's actually Brawl. Kind of protects Narset. Search is fine, but I'm going to take the Brawl. No, Splinter Twin is just not a fun deck to play against. Splinter, Tw Splinter Twin is um, a deck that we're like, if you, I can't, I'll, I'll, I'll never forget memories of like just playing like a Jund mid range deck, right? And I play Kitchen Finks one turn. And then they're like, all right, end of turn, Deceiver Exarch, next turn, kill you. And I'm just like, okay, cool. So because I took one turn off to play my cards instead of keeping up mana for the rest of the game to kill to like abrupt decay or assassin's trophy or guy uh i lose the game right and if i didn't play anything they could easily just go vendillion click and uh find out if the coast is clear they could easily just keep up counter spells the rest of the game like because the, like the, the problem with splinter twin is that even if they're not comboing out they're still a very good control deck right so they don't actually have to play anything It's either Phantasmal Image or Impulse or a Braid. I think it's Image. <laughs> or Croxa or Sword. This is actually a pretty good pack. I'm going to take Image. Maybe. Actually, maybe it's Impulse. Actually, let's take Image. Well, it's not Thousand Year Storm, that's for sure. Could be Rampage. Could be Rabble Master. I'll take, I'll take Rampage. Twin was extremely unfun to play against. I agree with you. Pam Rage. Is this an office reference? Electromancer is meh. Avalanche Riders is also meh, but whatever. I got two meh cards. I'll take the one I'm more than like more likely to play. Well, a lot of these red cards are coming back.
Dark Dwellers? Maybe Skull Clamp in case we get, like, Bitter Blossom? <sighs> Dark Dwellers seems just better. Sure, just mono red cards in the sideboard here. <laughs> uh, oh, and a, and a scavenging ooze. Jeez, this the blue dried up, but the, also I don't know if there were that many other blue cards that we passed necessarily. Polluted Delta seems good. That's a nice little fixerino. When we have no other fixerinos, and that pack was not very uh very good. It's like the slap from the friend show. Not the slap itself, but the constant fear of not knowing when it will come. Yeah, it's like that. Splinter Twin. God, I want that Baleful Strix, but I want this Splinter Twin even more. So I'm going to take the Splinter Twin. And now we're just going to be like blue, red, splashing black for these guys, I think. Well, we did get the Bitter Blossom. Thoughtseize also pretty good. Sower of Temptation also pretty decent. I think it's Thoughtseize, right? I mean, Sower is probably going to come back, but I think I think Thoughtseize is more important because it lets us clear the way for things like Splinter Twin. I also think discard spells in um, in Cube are, are very, very good, and I, I value them significantly more than I used to. I'm going to take Scarab God. Scarab God is always just so good. If Dire Fleet Daredevil comes back, that'll be cool. And if we get any fixing lands for our deck, that would also be pretty cool. I think it's just Lightning Bolt here. When I say like Blossom, I was talking about the 90s sitcom. Oh yeah, with my Mbialik? For sure, bro. Do you guys get Blossom in uh in the in the down under? Badger, as an Australian, is calling it down under, is that like a Is that annoying or is that accurate? Or, or is it a thing like you guys also refer to it as? I can't tell if it's an outsider thing or if it's just like a thing. How else would I know about it? <laughs> Touche. Touche. Uh, Frost Titan. Let's Charter Course. I think Charter Course is really, really solid. Rakdos Signet. Oh, baby. Down Under is an outsider thing. So you guys, as, as an Australian, you probably would, would likely never use the term Down Under. It is pretty, it is pretty cheesy, actually. <laughs> Are there any American things like that? Like things like people in Australia would say to refer to America that we don't actually use ourselves, do you think? Would you know? Mesmeric Fiend, I guess. No, because we have a lot of US TV and much more... Oh, that's probably fair. Yeah, that's probably true. Because the US is known for, for so much so much media that, like, you guys probably have a significantly higher experience with American culture than we do of, like, Australian culture, for example. That makes, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Ugh.
Oh, the Bear Blossom came back? Sure. Maybe that Skull Clamp from pack one will come back too. Wow, Dire Fleet Daredevil came back too. Plus, Australians generally aren't ignorant. Yes, I would also imagine your public education system is uh, better than ours. Because of course it is. Man, no power? Come on. What's the deal? We're going to take Bloodstain Mire because it's a fixing, and if we get any other land, it's good. We don't have a Through the Breach target. I would like Thief of Sanity or Shark Typhoon, but I, I think the fixing is more important at this particular juncture. Control Magic is a sweetie boy. Might just be Fumarole, though. I think it's actually Fumarole. We don't have any blue red lands. Yeah, we'll take Fumarole. Famarole. Better but not good. Oh, dang it. Lava Claw is decent, but I actually kind of like Miscalc here. Yeah, I'm thinking Miscalc. Ooh, Grave Titan, but also Fiery Confluence. Let's take Fiery Confluence. This card is just bananas. Volcanic Island. I think we like Volcanic more than Mox Diamond because it turns Bloodstained Mire into a Tri-Land and Polluted Delta into a Tri-Land. And Blood Crypt is also pretty baller. I'll take a Blood Crypt. They're just giving them to me now. Night's Whisper, light up the stage. Eh. Mox Time, it does turn any, any land into a rainbow land, but it also puts that land in the trash can. I'm trying to minimize the number of black cards I'm playing here. But I think, obviously, Night's Whisper is probably better than Light at the Stage. Badlands? Oh, man. Hero's Downfall. Double black, but it's still very good. And our fixing, it got a little better, so. Alright, this is 22 cards. We need one more playable. Hopefully it's not something crappy. Just have, just have Mike be return that land. I'm sure he doesn't want it to clutter his house. Fair. Well, I mean, Necrotal's a dude, and now we're on the double black train anyway, so... Sure. Also, we got Bitter Blossom, which is pretty nice with Fallen Shinobi. Lava Claw Reaches came back. Badlands, Lava Claw, and Blood Crypt. And, and Bloodstained Mire. That's pretty good. I'll just take a brain freeze because it denies it denies someone a brain freeze eh, Pina Karen Alar is fine I mean we only have Splinter Twin and Deceiver Exarch but we also have Demonic Tutor to find the other one Empty the Warns and Wheel of Fortune we have Wheel of Fortune and Narset actually that's not terrible I kind of don't hate that Maybe I'll take Baral out? I don't know if I'm... I'll actually take Dire Fleet Daredevil out. 
Wow, every one of these lands is playable. That's phenomenal. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is 10 red. Let's go down to nine for now. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Let's go down to 10. Blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Done. 10, 10, nine seems really good. I'm okay with it. My league matchmaking failed. All right, let's try again. Two Pia's in a pod. <laughs> you ever laugh at something and after you laugh at it, you're like, well, that was a mistake. Me, me too. Let's go for a little raspberry lemonade. That's what Narset's for. This hand's a little weird. I'll keep it. We have a ton of blue mana. And obviously this uh, this hero's downfall is going to keep us alive, so. 3 a.m. Bedtime. Man. Utter Pellin. Have a good night, buddy. May angels sing you to your sleep, my friend. Oh, Wheel of Fortune's interesting. Oh, that is a... That is tart. Jace, huh? I'll give them one activation and we can Necrotal this dude next turn. That seems fine. I don't think we're lightning bolting Jace. I think it's just better to Necrotal Jace. Maybe we lightning bolt Jace. Lightning bolt kills fewer things, so that's kind of where we're at. comes Tefri, and then I get the Heroes down, follow him in the same turn, which is good use of mana. Tezzerino. The only good Jace is a dead Jace. Three, huh? Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're just attacking Tezzer with Lava Claw Reaches at this point. <sighs> just need the blue. Alright. 
If we get blue blue, we can go Narset, Wheel of Fortune, activate Narset. Seems good. But mana wise, we're a little far, so. That's the thing, all right. Baby, I hear the blues are calling, toss salads and scrambled eggs. Maybe I seem a bit confused. Well, we're definitely bringing in Angrath's Rampage. I guess they could activate Misha's Workshop now, but if we had Ram Rampage in hand, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Sure. That's yeah, pretty hard to deal with. Doesn't feel like a sudden loss of do dopamine now that we don't have four magic products being spoiled at once. There's just too much going on. Diablock is easy to eat rough because they have Misha's factory. But I don't know what to do with those toss alleys and square. Oh, we can't play. We can't really play anything that does anything relevant. Uh, yep. Let's go to the next game. This hand is not going to do it. And the problem with like Wheel of Fortune is that like we draw seven, so it's possible we could have hit like we would have hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven up to up to Venser, right? One, two, three, we play land, we get Fencer. We don't have... We'd have to hit Splinter Twin and Deceiver Exarch and also have them not hit something that just kills us. And we also did not hit Deceiver Exarch, so... Or, or Demonic Tutor, for that, for that matter. Yeah, Avalanche Riders seems also very good here with their number of of broken lands. Necrotal seems pretty bad. But I don't know what to do with those toss salads. Mesmeric Fiend also seems pretty decent. We can take out Brawl. You know what? Sure. Which sitcom had the best theme song, dude? That's hard. Show me that smile again. Show me that smile. Don't waste another minute on your crime. I am still living with your ghost. Lonely and dreaming of the West Coast. Lonely and dreaming of the Space Ghost. Step by step, day by day. A fresh start over a different hand of play. We'll make it better second time around. That was a... Man, that brings back memories, dude. What was the Family Matters theme song? What was Family Ties, too? Dang. Cheers is very good. Two and a half men I couldn't get out of my head, but I also don't think it's very good. You know what I mean? Like, just because it's catchy doesn't mean it's good. 
Chanel, that's full house, not family matters. Oh my god, fiery confluence. Bleh. That's what I was literally hoping to hit, and there it is. So as long as we can survive this next turn. That's pretty good. Sing it anyway. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm pretty sure they're going to counter it now. They can't draw extra cards, though. That's kind of cool, right? That's a cool ability, right? Oh wow, they didn't do anything. That's interesting. Let's get rid of their blue source. Yeah, lightning bolts. What did we put on the bottom there? I don't know. So I guess if if they they like I think they F six because they didn't even respond remotely to Avalanche Riders. So I would assume they don't have anything here, but. Uh, two artifacts and two damage to each opponent. Yep, alright, that's pretty good. <laughs> so we're probably just getting Blood Crypt here. Man, still playing, huh? I appreciate your tenacity. How tall is the corn growing? It's tall today, boy. Yep. This is what happens when you inkwell of life and somebody in game one. Chicken and the corn. That song slaps. Just like brushy one string. So... Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, the game has ended. Okay. Okay. Well, Fire Confluence is a hell of a drug. Mark, the song is so catchy, though, dude. I think this hand's good. We have Miscalc and Night's Whisper, so... We got some early interaction. We just gotta hit them lands. Okay. Well. Chicken and the corn. Dom, dom, dom. Oh, for, for crying out loud. Oh. How lucky. How lucky. Hmm. Surprisingly lucky. Oh, wow. Wow. Love it. Want more of it. So we are going to go, we're going to whisper here. Thirst, jar, search. Wow, all of your cards draw you other cards. Do we have a way to deal with a memory jar if you play it? We have Deceiver, Exoc, and Splinter Twin here. I 
I think it's just jar. Because, like, both of these make you discard a ton of cards, which I'm not super concerned with, so... Is it, ter is it terrible that I know all the words to every of these theme songs? No, not at all. It just means you had a solid, solid childhood on TGIF. <laughs> Jar not only sees those cards, but if you take Jar, then they don't have a good artifact to discard for Thirst. And I don't really want to discard, like, seven cards from my deck. Do they play the island first? Interesting. So now we know Frantic Search, plus the card they drew for the turn, and three cards they drew for the Thirst. Show and tell in planes. So you have frantic search and two other things? Sure. I mean I assume they're killing our black or our red source here. Which is kinda of, kinda of sucks, but Yep. Sure. Land? Nice. If we tap a land, they can just respond by frantic searching, which untaps all three of them. But if we tap the signet, like they're the signet's still gonna be tapped. So, the difference between having four untapped and three untapped. Plus, like if they frantic search in response, it still doesn't do anything because you're only untapping two, so you're still not netting any extra mana. Unless you tap all four and then you float one during grub keep, but I guess that doesn't, I don't know, like that does much. Making your way in the world today takes everything you got. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Alright, so now they have one floating in the three islands. Okay. You want to go where everyone knows your name. I mean, it's also, it, it would have been decent to see Rex Stark if they play a creature and tap that creature down. Because now they can just play, like, even a Jace, which stops our Fallen Shinobi from getting in there if we draw land. What would you do if I sang out of two? Would you stand up and walk out? Lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song and I'll try not to sing out of key oh, maybe uh, a little help from my friends three blue I don't know what they can do about Fallen Shinobi here they can't repeal it they can't counter it The A team does have a slap in sitcom. Ink Leviathan one time. Balance. That was like the worst possible hit. We'd have to discard three cards and lose a creature. Well, at least they don't draw it, I guess. Sure. Did I say the A-Team has a slap in sitcom? Wow. Oh, what up, two weeks? Do you guys remember the names of the A-Team members? I think I'm going to kill my creeping tarpit. 
Mountain it is. Jimbo the Sarcophagus is a member of the Chuck E. Cheese Rat Band. Okay? God. Affinity, dude. When do you sleep? If I stream at like noon, Affinity is here. If I stream at four, Affinity is here. Doesn't matter. Affinity is the most consistent member of our family. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese Rat Band. Crying. Ugh. Oh. I'm so fucking tired of losing to Sundering Titan. Yup. Cool. One, two, three, four, five. We've searched one of these lands out. So we missed one land drop, it looks like. Yeah. I don't really know if this character on Doom Patrol explains, well, butter my backside and call me a biscuit. That's... I feel like that's a little close to copyright infringement, to be honest with you. I mean, them copywriting... Them infringing upon our copyright. It just feels insulting. No blocks. Assume you play something broken. Assume I can't deal with it. Oh, we're at seven, so even if we attack and they block, we just lose the game. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. This is a cool round that I had a lot of fun in dying to Sundering Titan and Inkwell Leviathan. That was... that was fun. Do 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 Now I have the A-Team song stuck in my head, guys. They did sunder our hearts and our minds, and I ain't here for it. Yeah, I'll keep this. This seems good. This seems reasonably. I love Standstill! Well, that guy can't stand still, so. Got half the combo. Let's go get a bloodstained mire. Blood Crypt. It was cast, not can't. Are you sure? It was cast standstill. Dang it. Dang it. Um, uh, I'm just gonna pass here. I don't feel like charting a course to discard something. Next turn we can we I mean we can kill whatever they play and then Narset, so. Oh, okay. Well, that's it's a good game. I, I don't I don't know what the it's a board, but all right. More like shard of course, am I right? You know, Benjamin, I don't I don't know what's going on, but I feel like I don't I'm not so sure if you're you're as right here. Can this get anything? I don't think so.
I'm a bit off target tonight. It's... I didn't want to say anything. But, uh... A little bit. Well, might as well go get another black source if we can't get a... Because we don't have Water Grave, we don't have Volcanic, or we don't have Steam Vents, we don't have Underground Sea, so I don't think we can get anything else. I would have loved a second blue so we can actually play this... this Narsi, but... Yeah. Speak of the Devil. Let's play this and crack it now. Let's get an Island. And a Siggy. Cigarino. You can counter my signet? Wild. Just wild, man. No more subs? God damn. I ruined it. I ruined it. Say what? Fascinating. Wheel of Fortune? So they just get one card? I'm game. Time Spiral Turnabout Mana Leak. Oh boy. Living the dream. That's how you do it. See what you got here. Is it a Mystic Confluence? Is that the one card you drew? Okay, we just win the match. Because we were going to go use the other mana for Demonic Tutor, keep up both Miscalc and Deceiver Exarch. Okay. Sand's actually fine. Cornulus! <laughs> we gave him the Cornulus Boisulus! <laughs> Boisulus! Oh my god, dude. Saw me. Down here. Down here, salt is a way of life. Oh, they mulligan to six cards? Nice. I mean, far be it to me for, for me to wish for... Like, I think it's just disingenuous to, to pretend I'm not, like, secretly enjoying my opponent mulliganing, right? Like, I want to win the game. That's my goal. Let's see what you got. Coligon's Command, Kiki Jiki, and Gruul Signet. Polygon's command can go. That card's pretty good. Chart, of course. Eh, we can just play Lava Claw. Okay, so they played Signet. And what else? Mountain. Okay. I guess I should have known because it's literally in play. Okay. Okay. Now we're probably going to chart a course here. Wow, these are great lands. I'm just going to get rid of this.
Wow, Volcanic gives us double red, double blue, and double black. That's, oh my god. Jesus, they have a family, I bet. God, Fiery Confluence is a broken magic card in the cube, dude. Oh my god, if we just had one more turn. And we got Splinter Twin here. All we need is the C-Rex Arc or Demonic Tutor. It's gonna be Kegums. Put that dude back into your hand. Maybe we should have let it resolve and we can Necrotal, but... That seems better for them than for us at this point. Plus, if we hit Narset, we're just... In great shape. We also could have attacked with Lava Claw, but I kind of like keeping mana up just to... Sure. Ain't nobody care about that. Wow! Well, I guess Wheel of Fortune is in our future. Let's get a Blood Crypt. I'm going to play it untapped just because I don't know what they're going to hit. Or we're going to hit. Like, if we just hit, like, Deceiver Exarch. I guess we wouldn't need this up for Deceiver Exarch, but... Oh my god, all these signets, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can put them to five. I don't think playing Deceiver Exarch here is very good, so we're not going to do it. So we can play this, play this. Let's play this guy first. One, two, three, four, five. Chart a course. Actually, Thoughtseize seems better here. We don't need the cards. Rakdos's return, Metalworker, and Karn. Let's get rid of Rakdos's return. And put a Brawl on the board. So, Kikijiki's gone, Mountain's gone. You have Karn. Would you play Mountain? So these are the two cards here that we know about? Okay. Where'd the Mox Diamond come from? I guess that was the draw for the turn? I don't even know, man. So here's Downfall you. Attack you. And then you have, like, nothing, right? Brawl. Ah, I forgot about the Brawl. Pay costs. Sure. Let's kill Karn, attack your face. Play Bitter Blossom, and we can keep up Bolt and Deceiver Exarch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine mana. Watch, well, just gonna hard cast Inquil. Oh, they just continued. I was like, they're just gonna cast Inquil Leviathan again. 
All right, Hangrath again. That's Mirk Fiend, I guess. Take out the Brawl. Brawl's kind of like meh. Also, Phantasmal Image was another option for when they had Inkwell Leviathan. Necrotal doesn't really do much. I guess it kills Kiki Jiki, but like. I don't know. It's kind of slow. Plus, they have a ton of artifact guys, so. Mox Cornulus taps for Jimmy's. <laughs> Does it? Is that true? With special guest Boswell and Nightmare Spider. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Mark, just to be just to be clear, Dweller cannot hit Fiery Confluence because it's four mana. I'm not sure if you were implying that it could or not, but I just wanted to make sure we were on the same page. Bomat Courier. More like piece of shit Courier. Got him. Did you got... I think I did. Oh, God. Oh, boy. They're just gonna... They're just going deep here. Which one of the two part two combo pieces are you gonna get? You know, from the Chuck E. Cheese band. Dude, Badger Badger mentioned Jimbo the sarcophagus like at the beginning of this stream, and all of a sudden now he doesn't know now he doesn't know about Nightmare Spider from the Chuck E. Cheese band. Unbelievable. Interesting. I kind of want Blossom just to block here. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. It's late at night here. Badger's like it's like it's gotta be like 5:30. Yep, you got it. That's all I know. Hmm. I think we just play Blood Crypt and keep up Miss Calc. Because I don't know what they're going to do with this. And, like, they could always get around Narset by, uh,. doing this on our turn. Gruel Signet. Okay. And Sundering Titan. One, two, three, four, five. Goblin Welder. Sure. So we know Sundering Titan? Nightmare Spider is only on select location. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to do different Chuck E. Cheese graph. I don't remember these strange characters. Buddy, listen. Oh yeah, if you if you if you if you're such a big Chuck E. Cheese fan. What the fuck? Bonfire for one? Oh, they're gonna Oh, they're gonna they're gonna discard their hand with this guy draw four and then goblin welder out the friggin sundering titan that's pretty insane that's a that's an insane sequence there why didn't they do it though oh because he's he's tapped he's tapped my dude wow look at his tapped little body That guy's got to go. Mm. 
One, two, three, four. Sunning Titan is five, six. What's happening right now? Sure. Discard image. I mean, they gotta just attack with this and draw five, right? Discard twin. One, two, three, four, five, six. If they hit any other artifact. But they're probably gonna discard this, so we're not super afraid of it right now, I guess. There's no way they don't draw five here. Yeah. That sucks. Yep. Discard my one Sundering Titan, draw five. Man, Michael's shitting all over Bomac Courier. We're also at six life, so that's not ideal. Thoughtseize or Demonic Tutor? Let's take Demonic Tutor. Oh boy, what do we get with this thing? I mean, Fallen Shinobi seems great. Fiery Confluence seems great. If we get to untap with it. They have four, four cards going to five. Scarab God actually seems a little too slow when we're at six life, unfortunately. I think it's gotta be Confluence. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, you can get Demonic Tutor. Hero's Downfall. Kill Narset? That's interesting. We can always Venser the Bitter Blossom next turn, actually. That's pretty good. Right now we're going to go kill, kill, and deal one to all the creatures. Uh, one. Seems good. All right. Well, we got to kill Karn. This is a one one. Ideally, they don't have any artifacts. Oh, look, they always do. I mean, we're just chumping it for sure, but... Make a 1-1. One, one. What? Really? That's wild. We are at 1? <whistles> well, that's a thing. That's certainly a thing. So we have to do it this turn. We can't play Consecrated Sphinx. But we can go Deceiver Exarch, untap one of our lands, Venser bounce the... Well, I wouldn't really 
We just have to hope they don't counter spell. Woo! -woo. I, mean, I think we're going to double block here. Because I don't want them to counter the Vencer. Or I guess they could kill the Vencer. That doesn't really do anything. But. We got the world spinning right in our hands. Sure. Seems good. Oh, good. You had a... Yeah. Cool. <sighs> Amazing. <sighs> well, we are on the play. And it doesn't seem good, not really. Uh, Welder's not that great because if we're if they're getting back Sundering Titan, like I don't actually want Sundering Titan to go to the graveyard. Like the only thing I care about, like I don't know, a lot of their artifacts are kind of unimpressive except for things like Sundering Titan. Oh, because they'll like choose an artifact in play and choose one in the graveyard, and I can choose a, the one in play and a different one in the graveyard, and then they'll swap. That's maybe that could work actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna play it like this. I think Pyroclasm is fine, but like we also have we also have some small dudes too. Um, this seems good. This is the rhythm of the night. Whoa. Yeah. We can image into fall corn hills. <laughs> well, image has to have a target. And it has to not be blocked by the target, so. They're taking their time here. This is the gibbon of my wife. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Glad you could join us. So we want to get a red-black because it gives us double blue, double black, double red. Which is where you want to be. Bitter Blossom. One time. We want to set up a turn three creature thing. Unfortunately, we play Bitter Blossom on three, which means we're not attacking on four. Oh, 
But we do want to get something. Because even if we do it on turn 5, it's still very, very good. I feel like it could be Exarch. Exarch sets us up nicely to just... And they don't seem to have a ton of removal. Let's get Exarch. Next turn we can get a Badlands, play Exarch into Shanoobs. Charles Entertainment Cheese. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, don't care about that. No, don't care about that. Okay. I think we just let them play whatever they can. You should have killed me when you had the chance, Nightmare Spider! <laughs> wow, this is a solid X-Men uh, Chuck E. Cheese crossover. You know, because Charles E. Cheese. Gruel Signet. Oh, now we're definitely tapping down the, the Dark Slick Shores. Sure. Full of blue in response. Sounds good. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Turns out they just had four extra mana hanging out, so that was cool. Yep, that's a thing. I mean, we wouldn't have been able to tap this anyway because it would have cost four mana, so... Charles Cheese in charge. Uh -huh. Entertainment is his middle name. What's the hold up here? You just sacrifice a creature. This isn't hard. You just do it. I want Charles in charge of me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Goblin Elder, sure. That guy doesn't have haste. Unless you play Light and Greaves. He didn't. You're gonna do something during my during my turn? Oh, you're Deceiver X arcing my guy. <laughs> How exceptional. Oh, that's fine. That's wild. Oh shit. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. <sighs> These have been terrible hits, now they're just gonna splinter twin us, right? Well, they have two cards. I mean, if they put this guy into play, it's fine. Maybe? 
It's my Charles and I want it now. Two lands. Jesus. Remember that time? I do. Well, the, the the time we didn't hit two lands was when he also hit a balance, which was pretty sweet because we had three more cards and one more creature than our opponent, so. Yep, that's fine. I don't know what this is. Probably Sundering Titan or something. <laughs> cool. Oh, fucking God. Yep, thanks for watching, guys. These have been fun drafts, these last two. Manatraders.com, Cool Stuff Inc., Patreon.com. See you next time.